Hey guys, what's up? As you know, I don't usually come on here too often to uh, talk to the camera. I uh, usually just prefer to make music and film that, but um, I wanted to share some information about a new workflow I've found. I've been having a lot of fun uh, putting this little guy through some of my external hardware lately and been getting some pretty good results. I've done some of these videos, some of the music of this process has already been on the channel, but I thought I'd talk about the actual workflow a little bit and then do a comparative uh, results of of this before processing and then after. So uh, I hope you dig this. I hope you like the music. As always, ask me questions in the comments and I'll be glad to answer them. Thanks for watching the channel. See you guys around. Okay, so here's the gear we're going to be talking about. Obviously, the basis for everything is this PO33KO pocket operator. Uh, now, I've had lots of pocket pocket operators over the years, um, but I didn't really want this one for some reason. I just didn't feel like I needed it. I didn't want a tiny sampler, but I am so glad I finally broke down and got one because I can't leave it alone. I don't know, something about the workflow is just so smooth and fluid for me. I, I make tracks on this all the time, but uh, <clears throat> I found some tricks that sort of make it sound a little bit better. And uh, I've been running it through some of my outboard gear. And one thing I started doing very early on was running it through this uh, Digitone. And I've been using the master page. Now something amazing about this Digitone is that you can run external input into it. And you can apply the overdrive. You can apply stereo separation, uh, chorus, delay, reverb. It really kind of adds a finishing touch to uh, instruments. What's really nice is the stereo separation because this is mono and you can kind of widen that, uh, sort of for pre-mastering, really. And uh, widening the stereo, you can maybe take one side and make it a little further left than the other side is right, and it kind of gives that variance between the two stereo channels. That adds a lot of life to mono tracks coming out of this thing. Um, after that, I've been running it through this FMR RNC1773 compressor, and this is really transparent. Um, it's not adding a bunch of piping, or excuse me, pumping or anything like that, but it does kind of polish it off and make the overall sound really uh, kind of glued together. And then finally, uh, just been recording into this. It's uh, just a digital recorder. It's got a line in. You don't have to use the mic or anything. And it just kind of all comes together. Um, so what I'll do real quick is just play this without any of this stuff applied to it so you can get a feel for it just in its raw state. Um, let's see, make sure there's some volume on here. There we go, and here we go. Okay, so that gives you a feel for what it sounds like just by itself. It's just running into a roll and go mixer right now. Um, so it sounds pretty good. I mean, TE stuff always has that punchy kind of quality to it, but I'm going to play it here, the whole track, in just a second through these pieces of gear, and I think you'll notice a big difference. So anyway, uh, as always, if you have any questions about this, let me know. I'll answer them in the comments, and thanks for watching. 